Hey guys, we're back with another live game. Yeah, but here is we're playing some Jax. The old jingle. Jangle. Jax is a very good all around jungler. You can't really go wrong with this champion when you play him in the jungle. And also, what's nice about this guy is he's good in iron, bronze, silver, gold, all the way up to, to challenger. He's not really a champion that gets less useful as you go up in the ranks. Like, he's useful no matter where you want to play him. So, a lot of fun to play as well, in my opinion, because you can just thwonk people. Gotta love the sound effect of his E. Sorry, his ulti. Just really, yeah, I just think it's fun. We're streaming this live, guys. FBG slash Foxtrot Blog. Go give us a cheeky little follow if you want to. Go see these streams live. I'll put a link to it in the description. Hang out with me, you know, chat with me, ask you questions, all that lovely business. Have some uh, recommendations or suggestions as well. This champion, actually, this Jax game is a requested game from one of you guys, one of the viewers. Now on Jax, you want to make sure that your E is absorbing as much damage as possible. So you want to engage the camp, and then when you're about to get bopped, that's when you press E. So you can soak up all of that damage. Sometimes you can get like an extra auto attack soaked in by doing that. Uh, we're also going to be avoiding a lot of AOE camps early on on Jax, because he doesn't really... I mean, once you get your teacher jungle item, you're fine, but until that point, you don't really have good... AOE. So right there you see I engage and then press my E a bit later on to get that reset. Sorry, to get that block. And speaking of resets, your W. You want to press W right after you've done auto attack. So we're going to auto W. So that is called an auto attack reset. A lot of champions have that. And it's just a little bit faster and a little bit more DPS. Useful in fighting people and uh, clearing the jungle obviously as well. So I'm going to put some vision down. There's Nidalee. Ah, fuck. I got boxed a little bit there by the demagic. Actually, I'm way more interested in... Okay, never mind. She's actually doing this, you know. You know she's doing this because we can't see blue, but I can still see it on my map. Really? That's okay. Ooh, did I want to run this way? Not really. Okay, I actually wanted to run towards the crab there. Well, I wanted to run down, but then I was like, if I run down, Nocturne's going to respawn, isn't he? And if Nocturne respawns, I die. Because <laughs> it's really short death time is right at this level. So, my bad. That's okay. I mean, we got away with it, so it's fine. How much are it, guys? Apologies for that. That is a cardinal sin. Down here, bottom left, we have Conqueror. This can also be a Prestige Attack. Prestige Attack is better. Early game Conqueror is better. Just like all round and good one runs, especially if you're playing against tanky teams. If you're playing versus squishy teams, then uh, I would say press the attack is better, more of like an assassin-y kind of style. But if you are playing against people like Malphite and Leona, like I am this game, then Conqueror is really nice. Uh, we have attack speed, this is really good. I take this, I mean attack speed is just such a good stat on, on Jax, especially when you get level 6. Really, really nice. And yeah, second day we have free shoes and cosmic insight. Now this is really obvious, mate, and they are gonna know this is happening and I have no flash, so okay. So you don't have to actually have to jump onto people to stun them. You can jump onto things next to the people and then get that big old AoE stun. So there goes Caitlyn, she has no TP either, so we're gonna be pushing this one in, get that under tower and try and deny some of these minions from, from Caitlyn. We don't actually want to take the minions there from necessarily. I mean, we can. We can tax minions if we want to. But whenever you're jungling, I think it's a good idea just to... You can help push, but if you can leave the last hits to your laners, it kind of stops them from tilting. And all in all, I think it's a bit better to do that. All right, well, I need to go mid here, but I need to kill this dickhead first. Nice. <clears throat> Is this swarded, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I can do this then. Like, Jack's dragon is not that bad, actually. You know what? I'm going to walk into our jungle here. Their jungle, sorry. <laughs> My double now, bitch. Put ward down. See if I can scout out that Nilly, because I think she's going to be on her chickens here. My bot lane just recalled. So it's kind of bad time for me. Plus, hmm. <clears throat> this is like the worst dragon for me to take. My counter strike doesn't even block it. Fuck, I forgot about that. So, uh, dragons or attacks count as abilities. That's why you can block it with things like Nocturne Spell Shield and Silver Spell Shield. But you can't counter strike it. And Cloud actually has the highest single target damage out of all the dragons. Even though it's like, it's not really massive, massively... Oh, I see you, dickhead. I see you. It's not a, a, like a, a primary or a, a luxury dragon. Obviously, you'd... Okay, yeah, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> no, it's, it's not one of the, the big, strong dragons. Actually, I, I think 10% CDR 
is, is that ultra CGI is, is quite good, but you know, I don't really care about it. Um, yeah, Cloud Dragon just hurts like a mofo. Like you have to be pretty careful if you're trying to <laughs> trying to solo the the cloud. I mean, you can still do it, but you're going to get kind of low. It's going to be a little bit scary, so you've got to be a little bit a little bit careful. You still prefer Prince of Mind on Nocturne? Yeah, so Prince of Mind as a rune, Kato, Kato is uh, is actually really strong, and I think it's more useful than people think. And I also think the only thing you're replacing there, really, realistically speaking, is Triumph. And I don't think that Triumph is Triumph is a is a fan, like is a fabulous rune. It's a nifty rune, but I don't think that it's a kind of high priority rune in that sense. Like it's not a deal breaking deal breaker rune. It's not really a, a good way to describe it. But you kind of know what I'm trying to say, right? Really executed. It's uh, it, it it it's it's nice, but it's not gonna. You know, make or break your your build, so you can, you can drop it. Now we're gonna go for the uh, blood razor this game, guys. Your jungle item on Jax, honestly, I think he's one of the only champions in the game that can go like legitimately any jungle item that he wants to go. If you want to play AP Jax, you can do that, and you go runic kickers, and that's fine. You know, if you want to go AP Jax like Nash's Tooth, Lich Bane, you can do that. He has decent AP scalings. Nash's Tooth gives you on hit damage, plus it allows you to hit your. Uh, your pass your ulti funk more frequently, which is loads of damage. Plus your sheen works off your Q. Like it's beautiful. Um so you can do that. You can do Warrior Enchant, which is more burst damage. That's pretty solid as well. I have preferred that in the past, but I think you know, I know I do quite like yeah. I like Blood Razor now as well. It's more sustained damage, so if you are trying to like cruise through that jungle a little bit or take things like dragon, go for the objectives. Or with Conqueror as well, like stacking up with Conqueror a bit faster. And trying to take down those Goliath enemies that you might face, like Malphite and shit like that. Or punching through an Aftershock. Then, you know, uh, Blood Razor is really good for that. And even uh, Cinderhawk, you know, if you just think to yourself, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go uh, Cinderhawk and then get Triforce. Like, you can totally do that as well. Like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that either. I think, I think Cinderhawk Triforce... Is a really good combination of items to go because you get a crap ton of damage from from Triforce, but you you, you still get that uh, still get a bit of tankiness from Cinderhawk as well. It's a really really nice combo. I do that on Hecarim, for example. What was that, Shelly mate? What was that? Honestly. All right, we're level six now, so every third hit we do funk, we do a butt ton of extra damage. Really nice. Uh, something on Jax that is you know. It just, just makes him passively so much stronger. It's really good getting that level 6. Uh, but also getting this Herald is really nice too. So this Herald here is going to give us some plates. And so the, I think the first Herald to take is really nice. Second Herald is, is like, whatever. But first Herald is really good. And considering what's happening on the map here, like my bot lane is getting taken, I want to try and return the favor here by going for... Really? You have to get that close by going for this mid tower here. Just trying to get some damage on it. I don't know if we'll be able to take it here, but we might be able to do something. Swipe! No! Nice. I think we're going to get this. Yeah, he's, he's leaving it. Nice, we get the tower. Oi! How did that not hit me? How did that not hit me? I should have. Why didn't I fucking? All right. I don't know why, but I didn't press my ulti. I did. Well, I did after when when Nidhi jumped to me, but I should have pressed. Oh, when I engaged on Nocturne. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what I was doing there. Just whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go try for a second. As far as our components go, Phage components are really nice. Um, I would obviously also want to get shoes here, but I've got the free shoes, so I don't need to get. Um, well, there they are. <laughs> They're my free shoes. I don't need to buy shoes. We're going to keep an eye on the bot side of the map here, which is why I'm not going for... Oh, nice block, Rygar. Nice. That's beautiful. I respect that. That's why I'm not going for the top, like, Krugs and stuff. I'm just going straight into... into the bot side, because Dragon's coming up, and Dragon's really important. That's going to be bot for sure. I'm on the way, but I'm pretty far. Put Control Ward down. Nocturne's still going. If he keeps chasing, we kill him here. Okay, that is really, really awkward for us. Oh, she got stunned. Nice. 
I can I can try and well we we can kill her here if she goes a little bit too ham, but we have to chill. No, we couldn't get the ward. Wait, am I trolling? I am hella trolling. Really nine damage from a minion's gonna kill me. Yeah, this guy's completely out of mana. Why am I doing that? So okay, if this guy had mana, this that would actually be a pretty good play. Like we, I, I CC her and we combo her down. But she, he doesn't have mana. Like this is a this is a classic mistake. Like you go for plays sometimes that. Oof. Nice, he got out. You go for plays sometimes that you know on paper. Uh, well, it, yeah. It can be an okay play, but you just you just have to pay attention to things like that. Uh, it may seem like quite an obvious thing, but. You know, I mean, I just made that mistake, <laughs> so it happens. Oh, don't pussy out! Well, oh, we hella pussy out on that one. Wait, why has every we have everything up? Why are we being so scared? Please kill her. Yeah, okay, nice. One for one, we'll take that. Nice, nice. Bad flay, but that's okay. Is it okay? That's not okay. She she got him. Has she got him? Ooh, she has got him. I don't even think he can kill her, you know. Okay, got her. Wait, no. Has he got her? Ace! So, I went pretty deep there. But it was all a bait for my team. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But honestly, what happened right there, what you're seeing, that is a very good uh, display of how... Uh, on Jax, if you go for this build that I've got right now, the attack speed build, yeah, you have a lot of damage, but you're very, very squishy. So if you could just right-click things, that's great. But if you're looking to jump in like I did, you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> you should be a lot more careful if, you, if you're going to go and do that play. It's one of the downsides of Jax. However, I did say this guy was a very versatile champion. Part of that comes into the build that you go. So, you know, if you do go for the, the tankier builds or whatever. But honestly, as the game goes on, It'll be a lot. It'll be a lot easier for us. Like we'll have Sterex and stuff like that, and Guardian Angel, or just other tank items, Death Stance if we want to. There's a lot of things we can do, so it doesn't really matter too much. But we do want to make sure that we don't uh, stop farming because farming is what's going to give us our like just keep us in the game and keep us scaling and stuff like that. Now, can I kill this this Malphite? I don't have Red Smite, and. He is level 9 with Bramble Vest, level 10. I do have Red Buff though. I have Conqueror. I, I don't know where like, I could, I could... I don't know. I feel like I should have gone from there. Because even if I don't know if I can kill him, that's that's a good enough reason to try and kill him. Because then I would learn. Then I would learn whether or not I could kill him. And I think that information by itself is way more valuable than one death. I mean, I w may not have even died, but still, assuming I, I do die and I learn. I think it's way more important to learn shit than just to uh, be scared all the time, right? I mean, it's a bit of a meme, the whole limit testing thing, but it, there is, you know, actually value to to that kind of thing. So Jax as well as a champion, when you play him top lane, you're going to want to split push on him like this, because you have very strong RV1s, fast... fast uh, Pushes, plus you have pretty decent tower taking, especially when you get that Triforce. Don't have that yet, but still. Uh, so as a jungler, it's not really that different, honestly. Like, if you can go for opportunities to split push, to go into a lane. Like, you get the farm, which is great, but also you have the other benefits of just being a split push Jax. So, it's nice. This is about to spawn. There it is. We have Crab about... Uh, the Crab is spawned as well. Herald just spawned. Uh, is he going to keep going? He's got Ninja Tabby now as well. Okay. So I'm honestly 90% sure now that he's got Ninja Tabby, especially that I cannot kill that guy. But that's fine. I'm just going to hold top anyway. Like we've got a lot of farm here. I was on 60 CS. And now I'm on 96. Lane CS as well is very valuable. Like minions and stuff is really nice. It's basically free farm. Like it doesn't fight you back, mostly. <laughs> so you don't have to lose any health taking it. And the amount of... XP that you get from it, oftentimes, is way more than you would get from jungle monsters. Sort of. Wait, well, maybe I shouldn't say way more, but oftentimes it is more. I'm going to take these Krogs and then recall here. 
we do want to position here for this next dragon. Sadly, I'm not going to have my uh, Triforce, but it's okay. This Garen, man, just destroy top and side roaming. Love it. All right, let's get out of here. Not two phages, please. Uh, that should probably be a pink ward, honestly. So, I... Yeah, having a component item is not more valuable than having a pink ward. Especially when you're looking for objectives like Dragon. It looks like my team just does not give a shit. They're just going to wreck everyone. It's fine by me. I will do the... I will do the honors of taking the objectives. Because I perfectly time my recall for this, though. Yeah, this game is actually mega over. It is hella over. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Now, fight is just exchanged from teleport to ghost. He is now ghost flash. Where is he? I don't even know where he is. Am I dumb? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I'm dumb. Here I come, team! The 1, 3, and 2 jungle jacks. Better jungle wins, by the way. On the way. Let's go. Yes. Pump my damage stats up. Wait, am I going to end this game with zero conqueror damage, by the way? No, I have 50 conqueror. That's a shame. I'd have been a pretty cool stat. What an exhilarating and thrilling game. See, it annoys me. It annoys me that I had my promo games, which were playing on hard mode, legit. My first promo game, I had a 4 and 21 Yasuo on my team. That's not an exaggeration. You can watch it. The evidence is on YouTube. The video is on YouTube. You can watch that. The other promo game, we started off really well, but just kind of slipped away from us. And we should have won that game, I guess. But still, that game is not... That was still a very tough game. Like, Zed got pretty fed and that it wasn't... My fault that that happened necessarily. Not trying to say that, you know, Eat or Hell and all that shit. But it was a difficult game, that's what I'm trying to say. But that is the freest game in the world. And I've had so many free games today. And I've been very lucky. I've been very fortunate to have all these free games. I'm in promos again. I'm just like, look at that shit. Get, get stomped, enemy team. Anyway, we are streaming this live at FPG slash Frogs or Blog. Give us a cheeky little follow up, put a link to it in the description. You can come and uh, hang out with us, speak the stream, all that lovely business. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you in our next.